Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul. We're doing our normal playthrough here in the Sentinel Edition. Uh, I think it's 2.43, if I remember correctly. So we have completed uh, a good portion of our run-through here as far as the first traveler. We're talking about contacting Apollo at a hollow terminus because we just found out the fate of Artemis. So kind of a sad day. We found out that Artemis is really dead. So we're going to go to a hollow tournament, so I'm going to contact Apollo. But you notice it talks about Null, the first, the Null the Stranger, it says. So let's see what this is about. So we are on, on Felucia, as you can see. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go ahead and get in. And we have to take off and take some. I think our audio might be a little loud on the game side. Let me just adjust that real quick. Hang on just a second. There we go. Okay. We don't want to deafen anybody who's watching the game. Uh, looks like it's got us going to the right. There we go. So there's supposed to be a hollow terminus around here someplace. There it is. You know what I've never tried to do? I've never tried landing on the hollow terminus, but I'm going to go ahead and land at the little green spot because it will save me some launch fuel. And I see some fucking machines here. So while we're here, we're going to go ahead and escape again, and I'm going to adjust the volume down just a little bit more because I, th I still think it's a little loud. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look over here. You see we got some buried uh, technology. Uh, right there. Uh, looks like just two this time. Yeah, see what the damaged machinery holds in store for us. Maybe we have an upgrade. Maybe we have some just more nanites. Nanites it is. Yay. Check inside while we're here. Uh, nothing here except for that. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go over here. Ah, there we go. That gives us a good portion of nanites, usually. Not bad, 50 of them. I'll take that. All right, let's get up to the hollow terminus now. How's our jetpack doing? We get all the way to the top. Can we, can we, can we? Yes. All right. It's always good to have that all the way upgraded enough that you can do that. Warning. Network compromised. Oh, there are no match signals match signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. The stream, the terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. Let's try to manual override it. The warning messages cease, so new frequency shimmers into being. Ooh, creepy. Break, 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 data stream overridden. And there he is, the infamous Null. You are not alone. Sound familiar, everybody? Tell me. What's the point in living if we know that life will finish? Oh, we got many choices here. Ask who they are. Suggest death does not erase life. Suggest we improve the lives of others or that we do not know. Hmm. I'm going to say do not know this time. I usually choose ask who they are, improve the lives of others, because that's really what I feel, is that we do improve the lives of others. So, neither do I. Ooh, that's the first time I've ever had that. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more, after a fashion? What would you do then, I wonder? Say so you would need to know more. A skeptic? Well, Artemis was already dead. Your journey to save them has failed. What do you have to lose? The blood of Artemis is data. The heart, it's glitch. I can help you retrieve them both. We require a mind arc, a receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis' frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. The stranger offers me blueprints for something they call the mind arc, a device they claim will allow me to restore Artemis to life. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. I accept not knowing who the stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures, but if there is a chance that I can help Artemis, 
I will take it. So there it is, the Mind Arc. You'll notice that we have Artemis in front of us. Okay, let's talk to him now. Are are you are you are you? Artemis repeats. Artemis repeats these two words endlessly, unable to see my face or hear my voice. I must craft the Mind Arc before I can help them further. Okay, so it tells me to mine cadmium, which we can only get from red solar systems. But it also requires a cadmium drive. So let's see, does our ship have a cadmium drive? We do. So we can go. Let's do it. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and get that charged up again. Ship is that way. Let's take the quick way down, shall we? Get hit that jetpack when you hit the bottom. You know, it really looks good in red and black. I might even change my main scheme over to that now. Anyway, moving on. Alright, so we need to go to another system. And we need cat. Which I do not believe we have in our inventory, correct? Hopper. No, we don't have any cadmium, it looks like. Oh, wait a minute. I just noticed something. Let's get out of this. Hold on. Yep, I know. We have to wait for it to finish this up. Hold on. We're not going to an Atlas station. There we go. You notice at the bottom right it said something. And it's not showing it now. There it is. Report the appearance of Null to Nada. Okay, we want to do that. Anytime it tells us to go to the, uh, to the anomaly, do it. You get more Quicksilver that way. So that's the smart way to go. Oh, I just realized my multiplayer is on. But we're gonna, going to just... Well, we'll stick with it, maybe. We'll see what happens here. Let's make it a little interesting today. Oh, it's a nice little ship on the right there. So in the anomaly, we've got everybody here. Look at that. I turned it on earlier because we've been doing a little bit of the, uh, as a sidebar, doing a little bit of the um, Zoo's planet, his uh, Remembrance planet that everybody's been going to, so I've had it on for a while now. Traveler entity, Nada has watched your signal. Nada has seen the other entity. The other entity is old, older than Nada, older than our home. Nada feels them watching. So he's talking about Null. So let's ask about Null. Nada asks the other entity, Are they first? Are they last? Missing entity chose not to answer. They have ignored us. A Apollo entity ignores us too, ignores the travelers. Such is their pattern. It is valid. Nada, un Nada understands. So, very strange. None of, neither, neither Nada, pardon me, neither Null nor Apollo will talk to Nada and Polo here. They don't go to the anomaly at all. So let's talk to Polo real quick. Nada says you have met missing friend. Missing friend did not like me. So we ask about them. They are not like me or Nada. They have freedom, like all of you traveler friends. But they do not share the sights they see. They hoard them. They are jealous. Polo does not approve. Whoa, a little deeper there, isn't it? So Null and Apollo both seem to have a, an agenda of some sort. So very, very interesting. An agenda that they keep separate from everybody else. So, now, we can go elsewhere. So we gotta find a red star system, don't we? Uh, maybe we have to choose our... Ah, okay, there we go. Yes, we do. So that is our current mission. Red Star System, which happens to also... It might have an Atlas station at it, too. So there's nothing at the system. You'll notice if we do this. 
no data available, so there is no space station here. So it's just going to pop us into the system. We'll land on a planet that has cadmium, and we'll go ahead and harvest said cadmium. So hopefully that'll do the trick. We'll see what happens here. Okay, here we go. Let's scan this planet, see what we got. It has regular cadmium and high sentinel activity. What about the big planet right here? Also cadmium and high sentinel activity. And this one is a planet, petrified. This has animals on it, vermilion globe. Do we have any other planets here? I didn't notice when we were doing it. Uh, let's see, what are you? Aggressive Sentinels. Uh, we don't really want to do a, go there. I don't think I can afford to do that right now. High Sentinel activity. Okay, so it doesn't seem to make a difference where we go. We're going to have High Sentinel activity no matter what. Um, I did see you. You are a moon. Cadmium and High Sentinel activity. Let's go around this. It looks like there's another moon behind this one. I'm curious. I'd like to scan the whole system and see what we've got. Petrified planets aren't bad because they have lower gravity, so we can really jet around a little bit easier, so we may go there anyway, but I still want to check out this last moon. There it is. What do we got? Blood moon. Cadmium and no sentinel activity. Let's check it out. I'm curious what a blood moon is. I don't think I've been to one in a long, long time, and I kind of forget what they are. Let's see what we got. Interesting. Alright, we're going to go ahead and land. Again, we're not going to find any landing pads or anything like that, and I doubt there'll be any derelict ships or anything along those lines. So let's just go ahead and land. Humming sacks. We're going to have to keep our distance from those. Looks like we do have animals on this planet. It looks like it might be a hot planet. Two of four. That would be three of four, and looks like there's one more over there. That's all four of them. Not bad. You know what that gets us? Thousand nanites. We'll go ahead and grab them. Very much worth our while. Okay, let's take a look around. We're looking for cadmium deposits. So these are our deposits. That's phosphorus, which we'll be able to use. Cadmium is literally right here. So right in front of us. And again, there should be little to no sentinel activity, so we shouldn't have to worry. And because there's a storm going on right now, our jetpack does a little better. Alright. It's going to tell us about analyst. Uh, analyst, pardon me. <laughs> uh, let's see, terrain manipulator, which we need to recharge. There we go. I don't know how good this deposit is. We'll find out in a minute. If it stays on cadmium the whole time, we're pointed at the red and we're in good shape. And it looks like we are. I don't know how much we need. I guess we're going to find out in a minute. It's good to get as much as we can because cadmium is definitely worth our time. Uh, we can turn it into chromatic metal. Any excess resources we have, it's also used in other builds. There we go. Probably going to get some silicon any time now. This does not look like a huge deposit. Not bad. A couple hundred, anyway. Definitely worth our time. We need a living pearl, too, huh? So I guess we got to find a system that has a watery planet on it. I don't think any of the planets in the system have water on them. Maybe. Maybe they did. I don't know. I'm looking to get about 500 out of this if I can. That would be nice. Alright. Let's 
Well, clearing's okay. Alright, good deal, good deal. Now, there may be some noise in the background on occasion. My kids are home. A couple of them, anyway. And I'm recording this in an earlier spot of the day. Yeah, we're just going to take this whole deposit, I think, because that's really just worth our, worth our time right now. We're almost, almost got it all. Hmm, looks like the planet is pretty, temp pretty temperate when there's not a storm going on, so at least that's something. Okay, how'd we do? Good. Good. A little bit over there. How'd we do? 507. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's good. That's good. That's pretty much what I wanted. So we need a living pearl now. So let's go ahead and find ourselves a living pearl. Uh, ship should be right there. There it is. Unless we have some... Do I have some in our inventory back home? We might. Let's get some of this while we're here, because it is right here, and it's worth gathering, because having dihydrogen is always a good idea. And my main save, I think, has stacks of it, so, you know, not a bad idea anyway. Alright, there we go. Hop on in. Water planet detected in the local system. Okay, let's go out. Out we go. So we scanned all the planets, but we've only landed on one. Let's get around this. Uh, let me see where the planet's at. Yeah, they're on the other side of this guy. We'll skim the surface of this one. That should be good. And let's come down. Looks like that one has water on it, and I'm sure it's not far away at all. Plus, it's an aggressive planet. Ah, this one does. I can see water on the planet, and I'm sure you can as well. There we go. It's in there. The Vermilion Globe. Brought to you today by Goose Tape. When duct tape is not enough, and Gorilla Tape is too much. Goose Tape. This is not a real product. It's an inside joke for the family here. Um, I'm still in first person. There we go. Oh, hello. Okay. I dipped into the water. Uh, Sorry about that. There we go. This looks like a nice little shelf to park our butt on. All right, there we go. And shouldn't take us much to find ourselves a... There it is, armor clam. Armor clam. Now, if you're wondering about these uh, alluring specimens, I'll go ahead and show you what you need to not know ever about these things. Where's the alluring specimen again? Right there. Somehow. It must be down here. I will show you real quick here. Uh, we need that. Really? That's a first. Uh, yeah, let's use you. Let's, uh, get you up to date. Let's get, well, let's just do everything, shall we? Uh, there we go. You might have seen it there for just a moment. There you go. That's our alluring specimen. Okay, but we want to play it safe and have our neutron cannon going. Okay, 
Watch what happens. You get Hadle cores out of them. They're very expensive items, but... Ah. He's overhead, and he can't get us. That's hilarious. I must remember this. I'm gonna grab them all. Excellent. Got them all. I'll show you what these guys look like. They're pretty nasty. And... There he is, right? There. And he's gone. So yeah, so that's what you get with that. But these things are worth quite a bit, as you can see. And they're definitely worth getting if you can get them. Okay, anyway, so let's go on to the clams. Where's our ship at first? Ship up there. Okay, because I remember there was a whole harvest of them over here. So the clams are a couple different ways you can get them. Uh, let me move over to our hijack laser. You can shoot them. And when they open up, you can gather them. But there's another way you can do it. You can also go into first-person view and just get real close. One. Two. See? Look at that. Yay. Living pearls we got. Okay. And we're out of oxygen again. There we go. And off we go. So that's how you get those. Man, this is one ugly looking water, isn't it? Let's uh discover some animals here. How many got? They got eight on this planet. to see if I can actually see this guy from a distance here. There he is. Oh, that's pretty. That's three. Anybody else? Any other red? No? Okay, let's go back to our ship. We got three underwater. Three or four? Three? Three. So let's check here. Uh, flying, flying, flying. Another one underwater. And then underground. See, yeah, we're never going to find all those guys. I'm not going to worry about it then. Alright, so we need to craft. It says according to this we need to craft uh, three metal plates. So let's go ahead and get that going. One, two, three. Okay, that does it. And then we can just do the soul engine. So let's do that, and here it is, soul engine. And then from there, I think we can craft the mind arc, right? We need three glass. Okay. All right, well, we can do that. Uh, we need to put down our portable refiner. And glass can be produced from... Where did it go? There it is. Silica powder. So you get, and I need to put some carbon in. Okay. We'll get four, I just need three. So I need three glass. It's a 40 to one ratio, but you know what? The silicate powder is so easy to come by rather than trying to find frost crystals. You might as well do the silicate powder. It's a lot easier. And three. And now we can build our mine dark. And there it is. And plus we get a little extra out of it. Now, here's the Hadle Core. We need to sell that. We're going to keep these because they're handy to have. Um, where are those crystals at that we just had? There they are. These glowing minerals that we picked up on that one planet before we left it. You might remember that in the previous episode. Let's see what we get. Eredesite for 150,000. Geodesite for another 150. Aronium for 25. I got another Aronium out of that. Uh, I don't know. I got another Iridocyte, so that's that one. And another Geodocyte. So that's not bad. I picked up uh, 650,000 out of those. So that's really, really good. Plus we got these guys, so that's good. And these guys, which are worth 700,000 apiece. Apiece. Yeah. I'm going to talk with the Lith now. 
All right, off we go. So, we now have the assembled mind arc components. So that is done. Let's move on. Uh, target outside local system. We need to consult the galaxy map. Let's do that. Okay. Here we go. So where are we going? Oh, it looks like we're going back to the place that we were just at. Which is going to be this little planet right here. Uh, system. This little system right here. Which has planets. Yes. I got this. It's okay. I'll be alright. Don't worry. For some reason it looks like my microphone is dropping in audio. I don't know why. Very, very strange. Excuse me. So by all means, leave comments. Oh, there it goes again. It's working fine now. Go figure. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Uh, what with that? Oh, safe, safe. Yeah, okay, we got this. What? Yeah, I just have to send again. Where'd he go? Hi there. Hi, I want you to have something. I got something for you. I have this. This is what I have for you. And I want your stuff. Thank you. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? And I like to fight when I'm in first person view. I don't know why. Maybe back from the old Star Wars X Wing days. Alright, that ship is literally flying through the freighter. Let's see if we can get him. Yeah, I can't shoot at him because he's literally in front of cargo pods. There we go. We're not going to use the missiles as often because of that. Because the subsequent damage to things outside. ships defeated. But guess what? Let's go ahead and talk to them. Blah, 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 interloper Viking requests. Blah, blah, blah. The life form who must be the captain of this freighter looks greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. And they will do that every time you save the freighter. You will get these freighter um, missions quite often. Just as a heads up. Happens every few jumps or so. Is the entrance. Oh, I'm at the front of the ship, at the top. The rear of the ship at the back. There we go. So we're going to check out this ship. Let's go ahead and do that while we're here, shall we? Quite a, quite a fleet of ships they got out there, isn't it? Very pretty. No other game like this, I tell you. No other game like it. Okay, here we go. Let's see, what kind of ship is this? C-Class, not really worth our time. The only thing it's really worth is they'll give us some free materials, which includes chromatic metal and gold, usually. Uh, look for the red. There it is, orange, there it is. Hey, buddy. Nope, I don't want your Girl Scout cookies. I'd like payment instead, please. Thank you. Cargo bulkhead, worth a lot of money, and good for, you, for your ship when you ever get one. You get 235 nanites. Look at that. 371 gold. So, no, no uh, chromatic metal, but definitely worth our time, right? Got a little extra out of it, plus our reputation goes up, etc., etc., etc. Okay, looks like this is where we're headed. So that hollow turns. On our way. So, we're going to bring the Mind Arc to Artemis. What do we got? up freighter. Those freighters, by the way, I brought this up before, are not worth anything at all. They are there as a chance encounter when you're pulse driving. That's it. The other ones that you get with the other type of item that you can uh, find a derelict freighter and land on it, uh, those are worth something. And here we go. I'm 
not flying upside down. On our way. So here we go. We're going to find the hollow terminus. Looks like it's pretty much right there. There's our landing pad. Always do this while you're here. Oh, back it up. Wrong way. Okay, what do we get? Largest planet, huh? Three. Three of them. Good. Always could use more of those. All right, what do we got here? Nanites. Okay, good. About 30 of them. Nothing in here. Except a couple chairs. One of these usually has a terminal that you can get nanites from. There we go. And while we're here, get our word of the day. Pathetic. Our word of the day is pathetic. I don't know. I can think of a couple ways to use that word, and I don't want to use any of them right now. Okay. Hollow Terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication with long cousin bitches. Okay, great. We're going to Artemis. So here we go. Punk. And up we go. So here we go. What's he going to say? I attempt to comfort Artemis, telling them that everything will be all right. They turn to me with a wild look of panic, clearly not expecting my voice. Who is that? Who? You identify yourself. I tell Artemis I am their friend, that I could not find them within the portal, but that I have found a way to restore them. I, I, didn't, I didn't think you would come back. You never gave up, did you? All these years. Ask what Artemis means. I've, I've been here for 20 years waiting for you to. You were going to find my star chart, weren't you? Claim they will be safe soon. Who is that? Who, who's there? Artemis repeats their words again, our conversation all but forgotten. They stare at me, their eyes pained, their mind trapped in an endless loop. They appear to have spent 20 years in this pseudo-death, haunted by loneliness and fear. If the stranger's device works, perhaps I can help Artemis to move on. So we use the mind arc. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what I expect. Some show of light and fury, some catharsis where Artemis emerges in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes. But it is not to be. One moment I see their hologram, and the next, there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over, their signal still active. Travelers are a dream, an idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it. You had it. Apollo too, though they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend. Walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone. No, not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourselves. Hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass, that's important, or the aerons, also important, or the progenitors, also important. It is that final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friends await you. Pardon me. Your friends wait for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, who is Artemis? Uh, pardon me, who is Null, I should say. Null is turning more and more into something else. Something we're not familiar with. Uh, he's turning into that one character that is going to be... We have an ungrown grave right there. Um, we're actually going to take advantage of that, to be honest with you. While we're here. So the point is, is that we have found a... Five of eight. This is incredible. Okay, well. 
I don't know what to say. I'm finding all these animals all of a sudden. The point is, is that Artemis is a, is gone. We know that is the case. So what have we captured in our mind arc, and who is null? That is the next thing we need to consider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure we get to a point of this episode where we are going to bring Artemis... We're going to get to a decision. Let's put it that way. I'm trying to find a way to, to word this while I do all this uh, while I'm here. We are going to get to a point where a decision needs to be made. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode there. And then I'm not going to make another episode until I get feedback from people. I want you all to decide. It is your decision. This is not just my playthrough. It is yours as well. Do you want me to do the one thing or do the other is what it will boil down to. So let's get to that point. Let's just check out this grave real quick. Because this will give us the opportunity to get another glyph. Drowned in the seas of signal led us there in search of pursued by this. We couldn't. I wasn't done. I so much more to see, so much more to The Fallen Traveler's Grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. I obtain the glyph, and with it the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveler in peace. So we accidentally end up with a new glyph. That's two of sixteen now. So that's good. Bring the ship in. I feel like traveling back there. So that's very, very interesting that we have discovered this. Um, and like I said, we're going to discover a lot more regarding Artemis and everything else. How many is that? Six of eight? So we have two more to discover. Uh, they're probably underground. I just thought of that. Because I just realized I'm looking at a cave and I'm wondering to myself. Ooh, a beetle. Mmm, beetle. Can I get pets yet? Hang on. Let's find out. Do -do 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 -do. Yes, I can. And I got something else in my inventory. I'm going to show it to you in just a minute. But I want this as a pet because they fly and they fly fast. And we're going to adopt. Excellent. We have ourselves a pet. Excellent. Glad I could show you that. So what we want to do, gently pat. Let's bring that love up all the way to maximum. And then go ahead and feed him one more creature pellet to get him up to maximum food. And you know what you can do with these guys? You can ride them. Isn't this cool? Uh, where's my ship? That way. And you use your arrow buttons to, if you're using a, a regular keyboard. And then if you hit the run button like you normally do, this is how fast they go. They go faster over land than anything you could possibly imagine. The only thing that's faster is your ship. Even your exocraft can't get from place to place this quickly. So these beetle bugs, man, get them when you can. And you just hit the exit button, and that's how you dismount. And when you want to, you go into your pets menu. You can They're already registered, and you can just dismiss, and they disappear. See? Gone. And they can always be recalled anytime you want. So, anyway, moving on. Little segue there. What's next? Let's find out, shall we? So we're supposed to, according to Null, you'll notice we're missing a mission here now. According to Null, we have to... Let me see. Kind of travel. They seem to be in usual journey and have offered a way to save Artemis. They claim it's possible to it. Okay, great. We've got to go to the stars. Let's go up to the stars first. And something's going to happen. It'll give us more. There it is. Bring Artemis to Nada. A copy of Artemis has been stored in the mind arm. Notice it says copy. Summon the anomaly. Let's do it. And here we go. So that's an interesting, interesting segue. Now you know how to get a pet. And you know that the beetle pets are the best ones. Wish I could have discovered the eighth creature on the planet, but it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. go. Yeah, it looks like people have their pets out for a little bit here. That's cute. Anyway, and in case you're wondering, that is a living ship. For anyone who hasn't seen one yet, 
those ships over in the corner. It's floating. A little bug-like creature is a living ship. You get a void egg, and it takes you five days in really in real life to birth a ship and acquire your own living ship. Um, I'm not super impressed by it personally. It, it, some people love them to death. I don't. I'm not a big big fan of them. So, okay. Priest entity. Let's go ahead and continue. Friend entity. Polo observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete? Not fading? Not as visor light flares, burning with concern and distress. Reassure them. I tell Nada that I am well. My condition has not changed since I emerged from the portal. Nada relaxes, but a question still hangs in the air. I tell them about Artemis, about Null, and about the Mind Art. The vessel glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I, I never thought to see a traveler's soul. You are so beautiful. But, friend entity, this Artemis Echo is in pain, disconnected. This Ark is no rescue. Ask why. Artemis Echo will never have body again, will never explore again, old life gone, but we can help them. Nada has a machine, no, not machine, it is something living, a refuge. There is a choice, you may upload Artemis Echo to machine, to sub-simulation -simula where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. So we ask about the simulation. I ask what life would be like inside this of this simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experienced, but if they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends. Such knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose. Upload them to a machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis echo end suffering. Ask if there's another way. Nada shakes their head strangely, trying to adopt my own mannerisms. The gesture is appreciated, if disconcerting. You must choose. Upload them to machine. So he just repeats the same message. So we're going to say, say we have decided. Go and speak with Polo Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines, no matter what your decision. Whatever you do, I am proud of your compassion. You are a Traveler friend. So... You can see the weighty decision that's coming. Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you, no matter the choice. I will prepare the machine. It is not as not a friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Okay. So, as you can see, if you're looking at the time, you notice that the, the episode is coming to a close right now. So we're going to decide the Artemis fate at Nada's private terminal. So you may remember this terminal from the speed runs we were doing for Singularity. If you've done the singular, if you did the Singularity expedition, you'll notice that this is where it ended up. So let me show you what the decisions are, and then I'm going to ask you to make the decision here. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is clearly tended to often and with great love. I feel a whisper. Not as faint hum over the speaker, as they commune with the machine, the words on panel unscramble themselves. Nada entity on authorization detected. Secondary simulation. Five. Right enabled. This relic is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system, so dear to Nada. It will act as a home for Artemis should I wish it. So you have the choices. Upload Artemis. Allow Artemis to die. I'm going to leave for now. And this is where we're going to end our episode. So the decision I leave to you in the comments section. Do you want to see Artemis survive in the simulation and see how things play out with that? Or do we end his suffering? Now, I want to be very, very clear about some of the things you have learned thus far. You have probably learned thus far that Artemis is being referred to as an entity. He's being referred to as a thing, as data. Think about how the storyline is going up to this point. That is the decision to be made. 
who are the travelers? The one that you see before you on the screen. What is this person, if you will? Think about it. And I'm going to leave this episode right here. I want to thank you all for watching. Please hit the like. Please hit the subscribe if you wish, if you liked what you saw. And I really appreciate anything you folks uh, decide on this. Go ahead and put it in the comments section. You know I always respond. I may not respond if you, if you just have a comment that says, I want you to do choice one, choice two, whatever. You make the choice, and we'll decide later on. And uh, I always respect your choices, folks. Any questions, please ask. Thank you again, and thank you for watching. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Take care.